welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am a knitter and yarn dyer based in the southwest of England. Um, I live with my dogs who you might hear in the background. Um, but this is my little place where I would like to share with you what I've been knitting on, what I've been dyeing, anything that I've got planned. Um, so yeah, hope you are having a good day and that you like what you see. If you do, please hit subscribe and like and turn on notifications. So you can find me as Sarah Nitty B on Instagram and Nitty B Yarn on Etsy and on MadeMe.co.uk. Um, so yeah, let's have a chat about what we've been knitting. Um, first of all, uh, I would like to say I am a monogamous knitter, which does mean I tend not to have too much to share, but at least they are all finished products. And secondly, I don't like knitting socks. I can knit socks, absolutely, not a problem. Got all the needles, got the wool. I just don't like how they fit. I would much rather wear shop-bought socks. Everyone's got their options. Mine are not knitted ones. So if that's what you're here for, then I do apologise. But hopefully everything else will make up for that. All of the patterns that I will be talking about today, I will link in the description box below um, so that you can go and check those out. I do know that not everybody can use Ravelry though. So if I do link to Ravelry, I will put a note if I know the designer has got their patterns in other places or at least name the designer so that you can reach out to them and see where you can get those patterns if they are available anywhere other than Ravelry. Um, so yeah, so the let's start with what I'm wearing. This is the Summer Down, I think it's Summer Down Tea, I don't know, I just call it the Summer Down, by the very talented The Woolly Badger. Um, it is knit in, I think this was supposed to be either four ply held double with um, mohair or um, DK weight yarn. I think... As one of the many errors I have made with this very yummy jumper, I think I knit it with DK weight knit with <laughs> held double with mohair. So, oops. Um, but yes, this is the summer down. I've got lovely lace panels on the arms, a bat wing type fit. Um, it's supposed to have a lot of positive ease and this is where one of my errors comes in because I did not read the pattern properly. I saw bust size and it was supposed to be finished bust size. So it's quite a fitted top on me. I think it was supposed to be cropped. I didn't crop it, I knit it a bit longer but I also did that one thing that I'm very good at doing and that is can't be bothered to stand up to measure it properly. So just lean back on the sofa, hold it down my front, think, yeah, that's probably about right. And then bind off. So it's a really awkward length for me. It sits right at the waistline of my trousers. And I would have liked it a little bit longer. Um, the construction, you actually start with these lace panels first and then you pick up down the edge of the lace there um, on one side, cast on for the back, down the other side, knit the back, do the same for the front. And then you've got a twisted rib neckline hem and cuff bit on the sleeve there. I know Laura from Penrose Knits is not a fan of twisted rib, but I think it works quite nicely on this one. Um, I've knit this out of my Budlier colourway that is available on Etsy and Made Me, and it is held double with um, Super Kid Silk Mohair by Lana Grosser, but I don't have the tag here with me to tell you what colour it is in. It's like a pale bluey colour. Um, yeah, it's, I like it. It's probably very much likely going to be knit again. 
in the right size. I mean, don't get me wrong, this fits. It does, however, make my fat look fat, but I think that's more to do with my fat than the pattern um, or the knit itself. So, yeah, we'll uh, see about doing another one, I think. Um, but for now, it's warm, it's comfy and perfect for quite blustery outside today. So that works quite nicely. Um, I think if you don't like mohair, as I said, it, the pattern does say you can knit it in just straight up DK or you could probably mix in um, Surrey alpaca instead of using the mohair. Um, there was something else I was going to say about this and I've forgotten what it was. Oh, that's it. Um, the pattern is both charted and written for these lace sections. So you can basically use whichever one depending on how you like to knit, if you are a chart person or a knitted instruction person, you've got both there for you. Um, and yeah, so this is the Summer Down by The Woolly Badger. Um, so I'll link to that pattern down below. Um, what else have I been knitting on? Right, so the next thing I have been knitting on, I haven't planned this very well, give me one second. Whoop! And back again. Um, so the, uh, one of the other things I've been knitting on is this cute little cardigan. So this is the Gramps by Tin Can Knits. A bit of dog hair there, sorry. Um, it is, I've knit this one in size 6 to 12 months because the recipient will be spending the summer months not in the country. And by the time they're over here, in glorious wet England um, this will be perfect sized for them um, it is supposed to have elbow patches and little cardigans little cardigans sorry little pockets on the cardigan um, but me not having any children I couldn't quite work out what part of the arm the elbow would be and I didn't want to put the patches on and find that they're in the wrong place. So I knit them, but I just have not added these little elbow patches. I'll have to see if somebody's got a baby of the right age I can borrow and get them to try it on. And <laughs> try not to stab them with pins as I stick the uh, stick the elbow patches on. And I'm not going to lie, I was too lazy to knit the pockets. Um, but this little cute thing um, is knit using a uh, baby bear which is one of my yarns and also you can't really see it very well in this light sorry it's very glary behind me um this is arch nemesis for the rolled collar uh, the not rolled collar the collar no the shawl collar that's the words i will get my words out today um so yes welcome my name's sarah and i'm doing a podcast where i can't get my words out um, so yes, yeah, so this is the little Gramps Cardi by Tin Can Knits that will hopefully find its recipient later in the year. But I saw the pattern and it was just so cute that I couldn't uh, couldn't couldn't hold myself off any longer with that one. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, there was something I was going to say about this pattern. Oh, yes, because it's Tin Can Knits. Um, they tend to write their patterns to fit everything from a newborn baby up to probably something like 5XL. So it's a very size inclusive pattern that fits the whole family. Um, so I might later in the year cast one of these on for me. And on that one, it will have the elbow patches and pockets because everybody um, do love a good pocket. Um, also from the Tin Can, it's actually from the same ebook. Um, sorry about that. We've got our next, the next thing I have done in the last couple of months. And this is where I try to make sure I show it to you the right way round. Is the Dogwood blanket. So if you can see that. So this is a really, mm, I wouldn't, yeah, it is easy. If you can read charts, you're fine. 
but unfortunately this one does only come with chart instructions for everything in this pattern once you have got past the pinhole cast on just here. So the first part of the instructions to get this first bit going are written. Everything else is charted. Now, it is a fairly simple lace chart. So if you're not a fan of charts, don't be put off by it. Um, I use an app called Knit Companion um, for putting my patterns in and usually have it on my lap and just do it all off of there. Um, and you can with that app, you can do it so that you've got the key below and you've just got that bit of lace chart that you're working on so that you can keep yourself in line with where you are. Um, and because you start with the pink hole, pinhole cast on, basically this section here, that is the one part of the chart. So you then do that four times. So you've done, done it once, get to your marker, then do it again, get to your marker, repeat it and repeat it. So by the time you're on the fourth one round, you've got it down pat and you don't even need to look at what you're doing. It's You've practiced it on the first three, three goes. Um, so this lovely blanket uh, is knit out of paint box DK in 100% acrylic. Um, I am... I'm not a fan of knitting in acrylic, um, however, it serves its purpose. And let's face it, babies, for whom this is intended, make a lot of mess and they need to have something that is, well, they don't, their parents need to have something that is both machine washable and dryable, yet also nice and soft for the baby. I have started knitting a second one of these let me just grab that um but this time it's going oh well i've started knitting it out of cotton so this is lion brand cotton um in the colorway sea spray and it's the first time i have knit with 100 percent cotton um because the recipient of this blanket will be spending most of their life in Malaysia. So, um, and I also don't trust their parents not to ruin a hand knit woolen blanket because whilst wool has brilliant qualities, we know it's cooling when you're hot and helps keep you warm when it's cold. I'm not entirely sure that the baby's gonna appreciate it that much. And as I said, don't trust the parents not to ruin it. So. I'm struggling with this one because it's cotton. Now, pattern's fine, you, you know, love the pattern. Um, just, I need to be getting this worked on. I need to have it done by May. Um, and at time of filming, it is currently the 8th of April. Um, so, you know, it should work up pretty quickly if I can convince myself to work on it. I'm kind of, after I finished the summer down, I found myself, I want to knit on something, but I don't know what to knit on. And this cotton, beautiful as it is, doesn't seem to be doing it for me at the moment. So if anybody out there has got any hints, tips or tricks as to what I can use, that's perfect for a baby that lives in Malaysia, um, that has a bit of give in it but is can't be ruined and isn't too hot because acrylic can get a bit hot for you know the temperatures they're experiencing please let me know in the comments below um hopefully though i will try and convince myself to work on this one because it'd be shame not to send it off for when the baby arrives um so yeah I will force myself to persevere unless I find something else I want to knit on anytime soon. Um, with regards to other things I've just finished up, um, I set myself a challenge, I don't know why, at the start of the year, I was going to do a uh, make 12 and it was going to be hats. No idea why I decided to do hats, it was just 
they're quick, they're easy, do one a month, jobs are good and no idea what I'm going to do with 12 hats once I've knit them all. Um, but I am pleased to say that I am actually ahead of myself. Um, so, so far this year, I have knit six hats. Three of them are for a new pattern that I have just released. Um, and it, sorry, and it is called the Maximus Beanie. Um, and here it is. It's quite a straightforward, simple beanie. You've got ribbed section at the bottom, mainly stuck in it. And then you've got this pearl stripe. You've got two, one on each side that twist round the hat. Um, it's really customizable. If you like a folded brim, then that's fine. Knit the brim twice as long. If you like more of a slouchy fitting hat, then just knit the body longer before you start working the decreases. And this one is sized from child through to adult large. So this is an adult medium. This one not much smaller is the adult small i think or did this one is this the one the adult large it's either side of this one and then this little cute thingy is the child size one um so this one should fit sort of a five to 12 year old there's size for teenager um and then as i said up to adult large so um this pattern, as I said, I've just recently released. This is available in as many places as I think could, I could think to put it. So it's on Ravelry, it's on my Etsy and mademe.co.uk online stores. And it should also be coming on to lovecrafts.com within the next day or two as well. So if Ravelry is not a website that you can use, you should hopefully be able to find that anywhere else that you would like to purchase the pattern um i have been making a start on designing my own patterns um i knit a load of cardigans um just kind of made up the pattern for family members for christmas but then i started getting behind and it was taking too long to write it all down and i just needed to bash out all my christmas knitting so i've written down the instructions for one size gifted all of the cardigans and now I need to try and work out how to do the grading um grading's hard if anybody again out there knows how to grade um how to grade a pattern so that it's size inclusive please reach out um I don't see the point in putting out a pattern that is not going to be size inclusive granted it would be you know the pattern I've written is for adult sizes but um the size I knit was for somebody who is a lot smaller than me so um I wouldn't want to publish something that isn't even going to fit me so yeah as and when I work out how to do my grading um I will uh let you guys know and put that up for publication as well so that you can try out that. Um, I have been doing some dyeing. I've got some yarn to show you. I haven't named it yet. So again, comments below if you can think of any good names for this little beauty. I was playing around with some new techniques. Oh, and look, you can catch the gold Stellina. Um, so yes, this is hundred. This is no, no, no. It's eighty gram. Um, no, eighty grams. Eighty percent merino, ten percent nylon, ten percent gold stellina. I think, or something along those lines. I'll have to check the label. Um, but yes, this is. This was a new, new process I was trying, um, and it's got blues and purples and greens that you can see here so you've got the intense color one end and then that just fades and fades and fades and then boom cream um so i might actually this might become this in the right size 
Um, and hopefully next time I knit one of these summer down tops, I will do it. Um, yeah, not only the right size. One thing about this pattern that I did change, by the way, I can't remember if I've mentioned this. Um, it says in the pattern to bind off loosely. Normally, if I'm binding off loosely, that means you go up a needle size and bind off as normal. However, when I tried it on before moving on to doing the seam under the arm here um, and the collar and the cuff, the bottom was too tight. Um, again, could be the fact that I had knit the wrong size um, or didn't go up enough of a needle size for a looser bind off. But I decided to unpick it, which if you've worked with mohair, you know that is not the easiest or most fun thing to do. But I persevered. I put all my, all my stitches back on my needle. And then I thought, mm, let's go with a tubular bind off because that should give it a bit of stretch and works nicely because it's one by one twisted rib. And then I panicked. Oh, my God, am I going to have enough wool left in this bind off that I've just unpicked um, to actually do that without having to unbind some knitting? Um, and it turns out, yes, not only does a tubular bind off give you a nice stretchy comfortable edge it uses less yarn this much less yarn um which i have doubled over and doubled over and tied in a little bow um so yeah who knew tubular bind off you use less yarn to bind off and it's stretchier so if anybody is interested in how to do a tubular bind off if you've not done one very pink knits on youtube she's got a brilliant video in fact for anybody looking for hints and tips on knitting techniques and things like that very pink knits is a very good place to go um everything all the fancy pants stuff that i've learned has been from watching her videos um so that's all I've got to show you on what I have been knitting on and what is currently on my needles, um, albeit that I don't want to work on it. And I'm already thinking of casting on another summer down. Um, I do have uh, got a list of things that I need to be working on or should get started on. Um, can I see it from here? Oh, yes. Uh couple of jumpers for family members, a Christmas stocking because, you know, it's April. Let's start our Christmas knitting now. Always makes life easier. Um, but I don't really know. I don't... I'm, I'm not feeling it at the moment. Have any of you ever lost a bit of knitting mojo? What do you normally do to get it back? Comments down below, please. Um, I do need to... I'm... I knit regularly. If I'm not knitting every day, then there's probably something wrong with me. But um, I just haven't got anything to knit on at the moment. So, um, yeah, I know they say knit what you like and it will get it back. But I don't I've, I've got startitis, I think, is the answer here. I have startitis, so I don't know what I want to get started on to help boost that mojo back. I might start working on another design. I'm thinking, you know, again, April, let's think about winter wear, um, or especially for us in the Northern Hemisphere as we go into summer. Brilliant for you guys down in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, I think I might start designing a cowl. Who knows? Um, but hopefully I will have some more to show you next time. Um, I will be posting, as soon as I've learned how to edit videos, I will be posting another video after this one, probably in a couple of weeks' time, on how I dyed this, the process. Um, so you can take a look and see how I get the effect on this one. I will hopefully have some more dyeing to show you in the future as well. I've got a couple of ideas of colours in my head that I want to have a go at and some new techniques I want to have a try at as well. Um, but yeah, what have you guys been knitting on? Um, share in the comments. Nice to have a little check in, see how you're getting on. Um, if you do like what I have produced for you today, um, I mean, it's me just chatting about knitting, really. Um, 
but I always think like chocolate you can never have too much yarn and you can never have too much knitting in your life so if you do enjoy um, watching this video please like subscribe share pass this out to uh, anybody else as I am new at doing this and so um, hopefully something that uh, I like to get out to as many people as possible hoping that you all enjoy it um, but yeah like subscribe share turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I put up the dyeing video and hopefully I will look forward to seeing you soon next month when I podcast because you know monogamous knitter need time to get all the knitting done so you guys take care have a lovely day and hopefully see you soon bye